Well, hey folks, we're getting suited up to go mess with the hive a little bit. I got a problem I gotta fix. Basically, if I can get my beard out of the way from the zipper. Basically, I need to move my hive. I don't recommend this suit either. Amazon special. That $50 price tag was really appealing and now I am having a lot of doubts as to the quality of this thing. It doesn't quite fit right, but I'll make it work for right now. Yeah, so the problem with my hive is it's in a bad spot. I should have caught it. I should have caught it a long time ago. It's right in full sun catching a lot of heat and it's not good for the bees so we're gonna slowly move it the experts say and I'm not an expert they say you move it two feet or less or two miles or more and all the experts say that because bees will always try to orient back to where their hive was and as long as it's really close to where it was or too close or too whatever they'll get lost so I'm gonna move my hive two feet today. Um, and then I'm gonna move the whole stands over. I'm putting it in the shade. And then uh, over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna move it about six inches a day until it's all at its new location and I won't disturb them too much. So let's go take a look. This is my new temporary stand. Get the sled over here as close as possible. slide it over on here after I check on them. I'm also going to give them a piece of styrofoam underneath their lid to help out. Let's see what these ladies got going on. Shut, that's good. Oh wow. They have really grown their colony. One. These four from the original nuke plus this one. Let's see how far they've built. They might be getting, I don't think they're close enough to where I can put a Another uh, brood box on top of here, but let's take a quick peek. This, I'm gonna take this one out and yeah. give myself some room. So I can kind of see where they ended up. Not really doing anything there. Nothing going on there, just hang, they're just hanging out in that, that frame. This frame came from the nuke. There's lots of nectar in there. Now this next frame is one I put in there that I triple waxed hopes that they would start building on it.
and indeed they have been. Not as much as I would expect though. The next frame's got a lot of capped honey on the top. I'm gonna peek at the other one I slid in here, the triple wax, and then that's all I'm gonna do with these ladies today besides set it over there and get ready to move the whole stand over to its new home under the shade. Yeah, that's all, this is all new comb that they built out. This is a frame I triple waxed. There's some cap honey up there too. Not a lot though, I'm not very impressed. All right, maybe getting them in the shade will get them working a little harder. comb in between this one but I'm not going to worry about it too much I just want this hive to grow in numbers I got a funny feeling I should start feeding this again, again. Right, one inch of styrofoam, that should help a lot. side completely away. All right, they seem to be already finding the entrance no problem. So hopefully this is a success. But I'm going to leave them alone because I disturbed them. And a little later on I'll come back and I'll start moving the blocks and the timbers over. And then we'll basically, starting tomorrow, move them six inches at a time until they're at their new home. Anyway, that's the bee update for today. Um, I don't really have anything else. i um, got some other projects I'll be doing. That'll be a separate video. So I'll see you all in the next video.